What's up, YouTube? I'm that dude, not that boy. Once again, Big Boss Burns. Um, before you decide to go into the trucking company or trucking business, box truck business, whatever you want to call it, I think there's three important things that you need to know. Number one, your name. Number two, what you're going to do. Number three, where you're going to go. That's very important to know. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't tell you. Um, they just give you the basics and then you figure it out yourself. Now, before you can go into doing anything, what's important is your name. So a lot of times when we're listening to a lot of individuals that's on YouTube that's telling us the basic, the formats, the this, the that, the ya ya, whatever they want to say, uh, I like to say those folks sound smart in a room full of dummies. Because basically, what you got to come up first with is your name. It is so powerful, the name, the spirituality that's in it. The name is so important. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you how important that name is. Why I decided to name my company, what I named my company. I'm going to show you how important a name is. Okay, y'all. This is a Porsche. I only bought the car because of the name. I don't know nothing about the Porsche. I don't know about the engine. I only bought it because of the name. These are Forgiatos. I only bought them because of the name. Once again, this is a Harley. That hog, big dog, whatever you call it. This is a Harley. I don't know what type of engine's in it. I don't know what it's capable of doing. I only bought it because of the name. So guess what, y'all? When I was thinking about a name, I named my company Fake Delivery. The reason why I named it Fake Delivery, because I needed a name that was not only important to everybody else, but was mainly important to me. Now the Bible said without faith, it's impossible to please God. So guess what? There's going to be times you ain't going to have no jobs. There's going to be times people are not going to call you. Just because you set everything up don't mean that it's going to go the way you want it to go. But with faith, sometimes God has a way of making a way out of no way. Your name is very important. People would deal with you just because of your so name. So people, your name is very important. So before you go and incorporate anything, before you get your insurance, before you do anything, one thing you got to understand that it's important that you name your company the right name. Number two, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you ain't gonna do, what you not going for, what you gonna do? What you're going to do is very important. What you're going to do is so important because there's some things that you're going to do and there's some things that you're not going to do. What you going to do? Let me tell you something. In the box truck game, there's four types of deliveries. Number one is called no touch free. Number two is called white glove. Number three is called curbside. And number four is called threshold. Now, no touch freight. Use this for all you pretty folks. All you want to do is drive your truck to the place. They're going to load it. Drive it to a destination. They're going to unload it. Pay you. They're going to load your truck. They're going to unload your truck. Pay you. All right. That's the easiest type of work because all you got to do is get there. Get there, they're going to load you, make it to the destination, they're going to unload you. Yeah, that type of work don't require you to wear nothing major. Put on a pair of sweatpants. Matter of fact, you can wear your Sunday best if you could. Church shoes or whatever you want to call it because you ain't got to touch nothing. All you're going to do is carry something there, they're going to pick it up, then you're going to pick it up, take something, they're going to drop it off. I need you to hit that like subscribe, and that share button. I'm going to lay this all the way out for you. That no touch freight is a beast, but it is obtainable. But the thing about the no touch freight that I hear everybody talking about is that a lot of times, a lot of people are losing their families. 
with that no touch freight. Reason why is because you got to be gone away from the house. You got to be gone two, three, four, five days crying to get back to the house. And nine times out of 10, when you leave the house for us house people, when you leave the house and you've been gone two and three weeks, watch out. Somebody else might be there. Uh-oh, what you mean? Somebody else might be there. Men's, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the reason why a lot of y'all are single doing that no touch freight. That's the reason why a lot of y'all don't have relationships doing that no touch freight. For an individual of my magnitude, I need to be at home. I got kids around here. I got things I need to do. I got other stuff in my life I got to do other than me being locked up somewhere, gone somewhere, two, three, four, five days, sometimes a week. That no tough straight is a beast, but it's for the individual that's willing to do it. That's why number two is what are you willing to do and what you won't do is important. Now, the second thing you got, you got that white glove freight. White glove is basically you delivering a package to a certain person's residence or a certain place. And with the white glove, the white glove saying that you are going in and you're going to set this merchandise where that individual wants it. Requires you to take it off the truck, wheel it into a house or a warehouse, wherever it is, you got to unpackage it and you got to assemble it in the area that they want it in. Now, this can cause some problems because if you're a person that your balance is not good, guess what? You might have made $300 to deliver that package, but you caused $2,000 worth of damage. And people complain about what you scratch up and what you mess up. If you think they're going to let you mess a door up, mess concrete up, mess their driveway up, and not complain, no, because we're in a complaining world right now. Anything they can get back from you, from what they're paying you, that's exactly what they're going to do. So you got to almost operate with that white glove, just like it says. It's a white glove. That's saying, brother, sister, you got to be on your P's and Q's. You can't be out drinking Friday and deliver this thing Saturday, and you got a hangover, because guess what? You're going to tear some stuff up with that white glove freight. Curve side. Sometimes that's the best side. You hear folks saying all the time they throw their sides up. West side, south side, east side, whatever side it is, we're talking about curve side. Curve side is the type of freight where you would take and basically drop it off at the residence or drop it off at the address and place it on their curb pull it up to the driveway, basically place it by the mailbox or place it by the front door. Curbside can be a beautiful thing, but the thing about curbside is, is that you got to make sure when that resident is not there or that person is not there, you got to make sure that you're covering your tracks with the curbside. You want to take pictures of your POD paper with the package because we're in a day and time now where folks will say, I never got the delivery. And no one they did. What do you do about the folks that got the delivery but saying they don't have the delivery? That's the reason why you got to watch yourself. So the curve side is an easier type of delivery, but it's more, mm, they say the easiest things is things you got to watch out for. The curve side delivery, you got to cross your T's and you got to dot your I's to allow or show them folks that you did drop that merchandise. Okay, if they're there, get a signature. If they're not there, Take a picture showing them that you dropped that merchandise off, which was on the curb. Now, I get a lot of people on curbside that when my trucks pull up to a curbside and begin to drop the merchandise or they're taking the merchandise off the truck, they'll say, hey, I need that right here. No, according to the paper, it says curbside. Or well, what do you mean by curbside? That means I supposed to drop it off right here. It can start a lot of arguments. It can start a lot of um, confusion simply because 
People want more than what they paid for, but you got to make up in your mind what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do. Now, if you paid me for curbside, curbside is what I'm going to do. Now, the curbside thing is a good thing, but also, too, it's a tricky thing. And when I say tricky, it's because either they're going to say they got it or either you're going to have a client out there saying, I need you to bring that in the house or I need you to put that in the garage or I need you to do this X, Y, Z. But you got to stick with the program, ma'am or sir. You pay for curbside. That's what we're going to do. Now, what I usually do when I get to a curbside package, I'm glad I clap my hands when ain't nobody there because that means I can drop this stuff and go on to the next customer. And it's important how your speed is, how fast you are, how accurate you are. You wanna drop and go. So when people are not there, that leaves you less time to talk or less time to socialize with them. Uh, usually when people are there curbside, they wanna examine the merchandise, they wanna look takes time. They want to see if it's been damaged, which takes time. They want to, if they see a rip in the package, they want to examine the, um, the package and make sure it's still okay, which takes time. That's the reason why on the curbside delivery, you want to be like a fox. You want to drop it off and go. You want to get out of there as quickly as possible. I'm done. Let me go to the next destination. That's the curbside. Number four, threshold. Threshold. Threshold delivery is basically saying that you have to carry this merchandise across a threshold. Well, a lot of people misunderstand that threshold can be across a garage or in the garage. Threshold can be across their doorway. Threshold can be crossed in the backyard door. Threshold means you need to carry this package across one threshold. That's what they're paying for. They're paying for threshold. Usually on the threshold delivery, remember what you'll do and what you won't do. Usually with threshold delivery, what I do when I look at my paperwork and I see that it's a threshold, those are the uh, packages that may require your dolly or your pallet jack. Usually with the threshold delivery, what I'll do is call ahead because on a threshold delivery, it's going to require a signature. Nine times out of, out of, nine times out of 10, that signature is going to say that the client received that package across a threshold. When you're delivering a threshold, you wanna make sure that client is there because a lot of times you can get to a threshold delivery and there's nobody there. You can get to a threshold delivery and somebody's there, but they're just not answering the door. Remember, time is of an essence with this job. So therefore, you want to call ahead. And by calling ahead, you want to make sure that they're there at their residence because you're ready to complete this task by carrying this material where they actually want the material across one threshold. Now, I can't get to Johnny's house, which I have get, got to Johnny's house. Threshold delivery. Johnny say, I want it um, in the second bedroom. Johnny, Johnny, I can't take it in your bathroom because I'm only required to carry it through one threshold, across one threshold. You got to pick where you want me to put it across one threshold. And Johnny, I ain't got no problem carrying it across one threshold, but the problem is there's a zebra in your backyard. You'll be amazed at where folks are trying to get you to deliver it and what's there. I'm not going in your garage or through your backyard and you got some hungry pit bulls out there. Tie the dogs up. Tie the elephant up. Tie the zebra up, tie whatever it is that's back there, or tie your angry wife up. Whatever it is that's back there that's going to prevent me from doing this job, because remember, it's what you're going to do and what you're not going to do. Put 
or time or secure the area so that I could do my, do my job effectively. That threshold requires you to carry it across one threshold. Always remember, you got to stick with the strip. Now, the only way I'm going to deviate off the strip is when Johnny or whoever may say, well, you know, um, I need it across the threshold, but I really want it right here. Okay, no problem. But are you willing to pay for it to be right there? Because you paid this company for me to deliver it right here. And where you want it is another area. Now, see, here's some games now. I ain't got no problem because at the end of the day, if it don't make money, it don't make sense. So I'll deliver it wherever you want me to deliver it at. If you want me to carry it in the bedroom with your angry wife, I'll take it there. If you want me to take it in the attic where them different demons is, I'll take it there. But I need you to pay like you weigh. So remember, y'all, it's what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. This job is based on what are you willing to do to get what you want. And just about anything goes if a person is paying. Remember that. All right, here we go. Here we go. The next subject is where you're going to go. 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 Where you're going is very important. you got to know where you got to go. Because where you got to go might require that you take certain things. Now, if I'm going way up in the Ozark where there's lions and bears, I might need to take this. This is going to help me if a lion or a bear attacks me. Okay, I get my POD paper and it's telling me that I got to go to a bad neighborhood. Those folks don't know where they sending you. All they trying to do is get the package delivered. So, in a bad neighborhood, I might need to take these because all they want is their package delivered. But guess what? Somebody's there, not only ready to rob the pizza man, but guess what? The delivery guy too. Okay, so I might look at the address and they want me to go here. Hmm. When I research where I'm going, because where you're going to go is important, people, I might look and say, well, they're not too friendly with people like me. Matter of fact, I've heard they're ex-clan members. So it might require me to take something like this because I ain't got time to be explaining while I'm dropping something off. I'm trying to protect myself as well as they trying to get the merchandise. What I'm trying to say, people, is that you got to be ready because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. But you got to be ready for every neighborhood or every place that somebody tells you to go in. So if it needs be, I got something for any type of neighborhood or any type of area. Not saying that I'm violent. Not saying that I'm that gangster. I'm just saying I'm simply trying to protect myself. Big Boss Burns, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and hit that share button. I'm out of here. Protect yourself. Where you gonna go? Where you gonna go? Where you gonna go?